We are Kinga and Marcin, and four months ago we set off on an epic road trip in our self-converted Mercedes Sprinter camper van to see if we still want to marry each other in one year. So far we have been closer than ever living in our 7 meters squared and have travelled all the way through Europe to spend three months in a beautiful country spanning across two continents, Turkey. We are absolutely in love with this country. The landscape, the food and the people is what makes this place unique and perfect for spending a winter in a camper van. From the amazing streets of Istanbul to the best Turkish cuisine in Gaziantep, the sky blue waters of the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful towns surrounded by epic mountains, bazaars with the most tasteful fruit and most importantly the freedom to live life on our own terms is what made our trip the best thing we have ever experienced in our lives. Unfortunately, our time in Turkey is coming to an end. But just before we leave, we have one last epic road trip to do. We are back in Antalya and we've just filmed a video called How to Hire a Camper Van in Turkey. So we just filmed our guide with Let's Go Camper and he was so nice to give Banjo a little clean before we go. It's a guide that we're going to put out in a few weeks but now we're going to go and explore Antalya for the last time before we leave Turkey for good. And we are blessed with this gorgeous sunshine today. Last time we were leaving he was pouring it down. So it's a, I'm very excited to, to be here again. What are you excited about? I'm going shopping. Go on, let's take you to a homeware store. I've got a new nickname for you. Mm. It's Homeware Simpson. Before we go shopping, quick breakfast. Also, if you look at the menu, some of the names might be a little bit off-putting, but chicken lentil is always a good option, I suppose. I have to say, this place was really good. Really nice soup and a big choice as well. This is the shop that I've seen last time we were in Antalya and I fell in love so much but Manchu was like no no we'll be able to find other shops, don't buy everything now and we went all the way to the east and back and I'm still coming back to this shop. What have you done? I have spent a bare fraction of what I would spend in Poland or in the UK. I have bought so much for so little. I've got like a dime set for like six people and then extra bowls, extra plates. <laughs> well, let me stop you right there. Well, where's it gonna go? I'm just having a hard time fitting it in with all the plumbing. I think we need to get rid of the plumbing. We are on our way to Lake Salda and apparently it's Mars on Earth. Sometimes when we drive the goal is simply to get somewhere but this time we decided to stop often and enjoy every minute. We just decided to pull over because we cannot get enough of this view and it's so peaceful, it's so quiet and it's so white, it's a little bit of a breeze but it is literally stunning, so beautiful and peaceful. This is Salda Lake, 
a place often referred to as the Maldives of Turkey because of striking visual similarities between the water and the sand. We were lucky to visit this place of season and feel its calmness. With its pristine white shores and turquoise coloured water, Lake Sauda has gained popularity in the recent years. The lake, with waters rich in magnesium, lye and clay, are beneficial for certain skin diseases such as yeast infection and acne. Lake Sauda recently hit the headlines when NASA mentioned it as a place that shares the characteristics of a Mars crater. Unfortunately, this body of water in western Turkey may soon join other famous lakes that are drying up. Welcome to Izmir. Izmir is a large coastal city which was founded by the Greeks, taken over by the Romans and rebuilt by the Ottoman Empire. This city has one of the largest ports in Turkey, which in 2017 became a sister port of the Port of Miami. This is also a place where you can get a ferry to one of the many Greek islands. Izmir has a very distinct, relaxed feel to it. Back in the day, it was a place where many famous philosophers lived. You might have heard the saying, you cannot wash in the same river twice. Well, the author lived not far from here, in the ancient city of Ephesus. We've been walking for the past half an hour and it looks like I'm the only person wearing a t-shirt. It is February. But it's pretty warm. It is pretty warm. It's like 20 degrees. Maybe not, maybe like 15. But come on, someone's joining the gang. I'm not the only one now. What makes this city shine is the shopping district full of restaurants, bars and fast food places. After a countless number of kebabs in the last three months of our Turkey adventure, we were really happy to enjoy a Mediterranean breakfast plate. In terms of religion, Turks are 90% Muslim, with Catholic religion not recognised officially. This is quite a rare site in Turkey. This is a Catholic church. There are, however, a few Catholic churches and cathedrals spread across Turkey, with this small church being one of them. Next, we had to visit the local bazaar, a place where you can buy freshly made food, house decorations, and local products whilst listening to a local band play traditional Turkish music. It is definitely similar to other bazaars in major Turkish cities, but it's worth visiting to lose yourself in the local culture and speak to very hospitable Turks. On our way back, we stopped for a cheesecake on the famous Konak Pier. Spoil alert, it was nowhere near as good as the one we had in Mersin. By the way, you can watch all about it here. With a few hours left of daylight, we decided to drive out of Izmir to a quirky bohemian village of Urla. As it was the weekend, there was a local market on in the old town where I've seen some of the nicest handmade homeware ever there. I really wanted to visit a local handmade concept store called Ilios to stock up on some gifts for the family. This shop sells products from up and coming artists and also has a cafe. Come here. Trust me. <laughs> Thank you.
Next morning, we woke up on the outskirts of a beautiful little coastal town, Tesme. This was a great spot for the night and after a slow morning, we decided to head into town. Tesma is a holiday village popular with York owners, with the marina being the centre of the town. The place definitely has a Greek feel to it because of the architecture and is definitely the highlight of the Tesma Peninsula. It's so cute here. The town is also home to one of Turkey's most visited castles with more than 1 million visitors every year. On our way out from the Sesma Peninsula, we came across this yet another bohemian little town full of old stone houses and known for its winemaking tradition. Alkati is a hidden gem that most people haven't heard of, and the majority of first time visitors leave Alkati of the Turkish itinerary. Alkati has a rich history, mostly as a result of its Greek past dating back in the 17th century. Though the Greek population of Alkati was forced to leave in 1914, the remaining Orthodox Greeks in Turkey were removed in a formal population exchange in Greece in 1923. The town was declared a historical site in 2005 and the traditional Greek stone houses are still well protected and remain on cobblestone streets today. We've done quite a lot this weekend and this is our spot for the night. Good night. And the time has finally come. After almost three months in Turkey, it's time to go to Greece and we are pretty excited. Very. Before we left Turkey, we took this boat in Kanakali, which took us to the European side of Turkey in less than 20 minutes. The ferry cost us 125 Turkish lira. Our last few days in Turkey couldn't have been better. We were lucky with the weather, managed to find a few amazing park ups, like this little fishing harbour. We also experienced amazing Turkish hospitality and we were gifted four homemade bottles of wine. It's worth mentioning that the wine was 23 years old. You can tell that they're really old because of the amount of dust that's on them. What a beautiful sunset to end this beautiful journey through Turkey. We will make a video summing up our time in Turkey, but now we are ready for our next adventure. Greece. <laughs>